Maybe do 10 times one side, 10 times the other side, yes? Yes. Remember, it's gonna be the rear leg that's kicking, and we wanna make sure that we're being accurate with our target. So I'm not kicking hip bones. Right now, I'm not kicking rib. That doesn't mean that some of those can't be targets, but for right now, we're aiming for Mr. Quadricep, right there, okay? Big, big muscle group. And we want to make sure that we're kicking perpendicular at that moment of impact. So not things like this, where it starts to glide up the body. His leg, bend your knee just for sake of example. Quick. We want that contact to be more perpendicular to this. So if his leg is fairly straight up and down, the kick should come in more that way. Got it? Yes. Not kind of gliding up. If it had to be at an angle, I'd rather be slightly at the downward angle than at the upward angle. So it digs in at the end. Make sense? Yes. Okay. But for most of us right now, that, right. oops, hold on. Get a um, A little bit more on the perpendicular side. Got it? Yes. So we focus on that accuracy, but now we're going to incorporate a little bit of movement. Okay, so we're here, and when the time is right, boom, throw the kick. Not really blocking or defending, circling, and boom, throw it. So now we're just incorporating a little bit of change of distance, a little bit of not just such a stationary target. And we want to be careful with things like this, because although I can actually kick him pretty hard with the shin this way, He's also able to just punch me too. And the advantage of a kicking technique is what? Distance. Distance. Is distance, right? That's the whole idea is that if he throws that hand, boom, I'm at a distance where that's a problem for him. If I can get a 5% heavier shot, but I'm in range, it may not be worth the trade off, especially in a self defense situation where we're not kickboxing that way. We're hitting and then we're doing something else. Got it? Yes. Questions? I'm just not, you know, I'm going really sideways where I'm focused. Again, if I turn going too far, far around back, I'm probably a bit too close. So the middle of that thigh is really where I want to be. And you can put a little love on the kick. Hear that sound? It doesn't have to destroy your partner's leg and communicate. If it feels a little too heavy, pull back. If you can take a little more, ask them to put in, you know, 5% more. Got it? Okay. Last thing I'll say that I'll shut up. Please watch. Although ultimately when you kick, just put your hand there for now. Ultimately, you know, just, ultimately when you watch this. When you kick that leg's out, come back right away, yes? So it doesn't get caught in stuff. But for now, I'd rather you hold it slightly and then pull it back. I don't want pitter patter. I want the feeling that the leg could really dig into the bone beyond the meat. Oops. Oops. Okay, so a little bit of movement, question? Oh, anybody else? All right, how's your back? 